Michelle can't come back on the line because her phone is minutes from dead. Okay, well, we'll probably wrap this up. I think we've covered it. You know, I want to I wanna come back to uh, the overarching point here, which is liberty. Our government has failed in gaining the trust of the people. We have a few representatives. We have Michelle Fiores and Matt Shays and the other representatives down there on the ground. There's a few representatives who understand liberty and will step up to defend it. But it falls to us. It falls to us to not forget our own. It falls to us to stand up. Our job is not simply to vote like Chris Ann talked about earlier. That's only one small piece of what a people of liberty must do to preserve it, of what a righteous people must do. This, this apathetic professing church in America, the apathetic people who's more concerned about self and comforts than the message of liberty. And so despite the fact that the news media will go out and, and fools will make fun of David Fry and the other people down there for their fears and their concerns and their angst, what they stood for was more than what we've stood for in the past, America. We've been silent. Yeah, chance, and, and we have we have a message to carry. This nation needs to repent. We need to return to the principles of liberty. We need to return to God. We need to look to the local, to the county level. We need to be willing to rise, America. And there's 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 institutions, there's, there's, there's people working on this and they don't have all the answers and they don't always do it right. And we're still trying to learn to find our courage because for decades and decades and decades, our courage has been trampled by a neutered, lawless and godless idealism in our halls of education and in our media and in our entertainment. We have, we have people like Ammon Bundy standing up. We have people like the Constitutional County Project trying to, to unify and get a unified front on the county level to get a sheriff who will uphold the rule of law as the supreme authority in his county. We have people out there like you and me, like Nathan, like Chris Ann Hall, like Ammon Bundy. We have a stand. What you've seen in the past few months isn't over and you need to make sure you don't forget it. And don't just share it on Facebook. Get out there and support those people in whatever capacity you can and keep the message going. Because unless we return to liberty, we will exist in chains and we will pass those chains onto our children. We will not have liberty if we continue to give it away to tyrants. We don't throw the first punch. We don't fire the first shot. We saw that here today. We've seen it over the past weeks as brave patriots, despite their imperfections, shows you what it looks like to be founding fathers, America. And so you need to start asking yourselves the hard questions. You need to start asking yourselves, what are you going to do about it? You need to start looking at your children and your family and your neighbors and your friends and decide, are you really going to love them? Are you really going to love your, their neighbor? Finally, in, in, uh, beyond all the people and projects that Gavin mentioned, we have Jesus Christ. And if he is for us, who could be against us? America, bless God. And then God will bless America. Amen. <laughs>